Hey everyone, it's Jessica here with another layout for acrylic stash busting with Jennifer Kane, Nicole Santos, and Natalie Dill. And I am scrap lifting Cassie over at Paper Issues for my bingo card challenge this month. And I am going to follow hers pretty closely. I'm using Simple Stories Safe Travels Collection, which is a little bit older of one now, but it's still one of my absolute favorites of all time. So I'm going to pull that one out and use it. I'm just using the um, border strip around my layout with that paper. So I've cut the middle out to save it to use on something else. And I have obviously done that with these other two pieces of pattern paper that I've pulled out because they are um, the insides of the paper as well. Um, I don't have any other full 12 by 12 pieces of paper left from this collection. So now I'm just down to scraps. Um, so I am just going to make this work. I'm going to cheat a little bit. So I am, um, instead of using full sheets of paper to make my, um, my V shape for the layout, I am just using these strips that I had. I cut, um, the one in half, the blue one in half, and I cut it, I think, I think it was like five and a quarter or something like that. Um, but I cut it down to use and then I wanted a strip of yellow so I just used the blue one that I cut as my template and I'm just basically guessing here um, my blue one could have been a little bit thicker to match Cassie's but um, I usually put my own flair to it anyways so I made mine a little bit thinner and then hers had like some connecting strips at the bottom uh, looked like she did some washi tape on hers but um, I tried washi on mine at some point here, but I decided to go a different direction. Um, I wanted to do some fringe at the bottom of mine, so I'm just using my fringe scissors on these yellow strips, and I'm going to place those at the bottom. And mine are not going to connect in the middle because they're not long enough, but that's where I ch I'm cheating. So <laughs> my photo is going to actually cover that up anyway, so I'm not worried about it. So here I'm just popping that fringe on but then I rip it back off so that I could distress the edges because I decide oh I really think that I would like some texture on those edges so I just peel that back off and distress those edges before I pop it down onto my layout <clears throat> so here's my photo it's a picture of me and my son that's my middle child there whenever we were camping and we were um, just kind of hiking around the campground and going on some of the trails so um, I thought this would be a perfect photo to use for this layout and um, the point of this video and this layout is to use up some acrylic stash. Um, Jennifer Kane and uh, Natalie Dill and Nicole Santos, um, they are all participating in that as well and um, decided that we need to use up some of our acrylic stash that's just ever growing because we keep buying more. So I decided it was a great idea and I wanted to participate in that too. So I've pulled out some of my acrylics from Pear Tree Cut Files and um, I had that scrap piece of white paper that I was going to map my photo on but then I realized my whites didn't match. That one was a little grayer so I had to pull out a different piece of uh, scrap white paper to use for my back. And um, here I'm just popping down my title which is going to be Explore. That's uh, an acrylic piece by Pear Tree Cut Files as well. And then I'm going to cut out some of these little tags from the Simple Stories collection to put on the top and bottom of my little V shapes. And I'm just cutting them so I'm just using the tops of them. Um, so I'm just throwing a few of them on here just for some embellishment. And I'm going to pop one more at the bottom there on the left just for some balance. And honestly, this video is like 13 minutes long, which is a little bit long for me. Usually they're, my videos are around 10 minutes. I don't really know what takes me so long to do this layout. It's a pretty simple layout and I think I'm just like fiddling with it a lot. I'm just faffing, I think is what UK people call it, faffing, I think. And um, yeah, I just, I can't get it together for some reason. I don't know what I'm doing this whole time. Um, I think the TV might, might have been on, so I feel like I was probably watching that as I was doing this layout, so it's taking me longer to actually put it together and think about it. So I don't know. I'm sorry. It's a little bit longer, but I think we'll survive and it'll be okay. 
Um, I just splattered on some black Heidi Swap Color Shine. It's one of my favorites. It's really sparkly and pretty and it dries pretty fast too, so that's a plus. And then I'm just going to start adhering things actually down to my layout. Um, I've pulled out these little Hip Kit Club stickers as well, the little alphas. I'm going to actually build my title with that. Um, I'm going to put my Explore on there, but I want it to say Explore the Wild. So I'm going to actually use those little yellow letters as well. But um, when I start putting them down, then I realize I don't have any more E's left. But uh, I'm going to make one. So I'm not going to pull out different letters to use because I really like these and I want to use them. And here's where I'm kind of tapping my finger a little bit, deciding what I'm going to do with that. But um, I, yeah, I'm just going to make one. So I put my TH on there and then I put an F on there. And then I'm just going to use, um, this must have been the inside of a different number or an L or something. I usually just pull out some leftover bit or um, just a simple I or an L and I cut it down with my X-Acto knife. And then I did put some Nuvo glue there because it didn't really want to stick after I was playing with it so much. So I just put some Nuvo glue down to hold it. So my title's on now. Um, I've got this cute little mountain acrylic piece that I've put down on my photo now. Um, I want to use that there and kind of build a little cluster there at the bottom of my photo. And um, I'm using another acrylic piece that's the little mountain, so I'm happy about that that I'm actually using up some of the sash. And then I'm just going to pull off a couple of these little labels, these little tab labels from the sticker book. And I, like, I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love these sticker books that come in these Symbol Stories collections. I use them so much, and there's just so many things in these to use on your layouts and kind of build them and layer with. And sometimes I even put dimensional foam or pop squares behind them to pop them up for dimension. And I just love how it comes with all the wordy bits and little phrases and things. I just... I love it and it just goes with my scrappy style so perfectly. I love this cute little sun die cut so I'm going to pop it there beside my title and I'm just kind of going through the embellishment pack and deciding what else I want to pull off of here. I'm going to tuck that camera in there somewhere and I love this little kind of travel tag so I'm going to pop it there between my, my tags that I already have there. And I think I'm going to actually pull out some twine and put on my tags as well. Just some short twine. I don't want anything crazy or big. I don't want a bow on it. I'm just going to put some, just a little bit there for some dimension. And then here I'm just going to pull out these little puffy stickers. I really like that My Happy Place sticker. So I'm going to pop it there on the top of my photo. Um, this truly is our happy place. Uh, we camp there every year um, several times a year so it's it's our our little happy place they have a nice little beach for the kids and it's just it's great so um it's a state park and we just love it there i put some um 3d foam behind my photo just to pop that up off of my page as my focal point and then i'm gonna pop up the sun on that one side because it's kind of hanging off my photo and I don't want it to kind of get rumpled or ruined in my book whenever I put it in there so I did pop that up on that one side as well and then here I'm just kind of going through and adhering down all of my other little bits and pieces getting everything stuck down nice so it stays I love these little hiking boots I'm gonna tuck those up by my title I thought about putting them down on the left beside my photo, but then I really like them up here by my title, so I'm just going to stick them down right there. <laughs> so I love all these little bits. I'm surprised I still have so much of this collection left because I used to use it so, so much, and um, actually, I haven't gotten sick of it yet, so surprisingly. <laughs> I'm still using it and I still absolutely love this collection. I love all these little, um, the trail mix and little snacky things that are in the sticker book and I just think it's so adorable. I'm going to use that other little acrylic heart there beside my little happy place uh, sticker and I'm just going to scatter those hearts around my layout trying to use up some of those. I was hoping to use up that pack of hearts on this layout but there was so many of them in the pack that um, I still haven't used them up, so I still have probably one or one, maybe two more layouts that I can use them on, which is fine, but um, 
but they are they are super cute and the colors are cute so I'll definitely use them but I just have so much acrylic stash building up at this point that it's really nice to actually get to use some of it so just popping down a few more little bits and pieces on this layout again I don't know what takes me so long to fiddle with this layout but um, I, I don't know I <laughs> I really like it but I think the kicker was I was watching TV at the time I think I had American Idol on maybe and um, I've been kind of into that and watching that lately but here I'm just tucking a couple little bits here I've grabbed some of the adhesive brads uh, I really like those and I like to put those around my layouts when I can I'm gonna add another little heart there and I'm gonna stamp my date down here at the bottom. I just used some black archival ink and my Heidi, or not Heidi Swap, I have a Heidi Swap date stamp as well, I think. Um, but I pulled out the Paige Evans ones for that one. And then just tucking my little camera piece in there, I'm gonna pop it up so that it's the same dimension as my um, little foam um, sticker there and so it matches up with my photo nicely. Um, just adding a couple more things. I'm just basically gluing down everything now. Just um, I have everything pretty much placed around my layout. Just adding a couple little bits here and there. Filling in some spaces. Adding my hearts down. I'm going to add that yellow heart by my puffy sticker by my photo. Don't worry. I did forget for the video, I think. But then as soon as I picked it up, I realized that I didn't glue it down. So it gets glued down before I take the photo. I kind of have a little fiddle with my embellishment down here too. I couldn't really decide on what I wanted to put there. It looked like it had a white space. It needed something just there, so I ended up putting that little flower there. And then um, I really liked this little wordy bit here beside it. I thought that went really well to kind of fill in that little space. And then just popping down my travel tag and finishing it off with my twine here. I just make them really short because again I didn't want anything super long or I didn't want to have to twirl anything around and glue it down I didn't want to have to tie bows so I just kind of thread a little bit through um, they're not perfect they're not all the same it's fine I don't care <laughs> they're supposed to be random so here is the finished layout I hope you guys enjoyed watching this process video you can play along with that challenge over in the paper issues friends and fans Facebook group and um, again, I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy your week. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.